Hi guys, it's Jess with Techno House Inspections. It's a hot one today, so I'm already all sweaty. Um, but we're back in a garage, and I don't know what it is about garages that make people think they can just get rid of stuff. Let me flip it around and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm in this garage, and immediately the thing that jumps out at me is there are two one car sized garage doors here. So Originally, there was a wall, very likely in the middle of this garage. And what I'd like you to focus in on is all of those bolts joining these rafters, all of the support structure for the roof together. Because there used to be a wall in the middle here that was load bearing, folks. I know we all watch HGTV, I love it, but you don't get to take down every wall. Um, that you want. Some of them matter and they have to be supported. So that's why you're looking at these rafters going, huh, why are they so short? Because they used to have a wall that supported them. Unfortunately, the bolts that they used here, that's just not going to get the job done. Then, to add insult to injury, they decided to store everything up there. I don't know if this was just some kind of a test to see what they could do, but you can sort of see already that it's starting to sag in the middle of the structure there. So this is definitely something that is very likely gonna require, at the very least, an additional support structure be built that will likely divide this garage again. So just something to think about when you're um, looking at garages and if you're buying a house, things to consider. And if you're doing work in your own house, do not just take out walls without verifying first that they are or are not load bearing because there are repercussions if you take out load bearing walls. There is work that can be done to properly support load bearing walls so you can get your nice clean clear span but that has to be done. All right guys back to my inspection. Take care.